Me and my wife were out yard selling this morning. Went to some yard sales and then uh, one little small flea market we go to sometimes. And uh, there was a, we found some pretty good yard sales today. Uh, this old camcorder tripod there I picked up at the, the little flea market bought that for five bucks uh, another yard sale this guy had a box of these welding gloves you know they they feel they feel really good inside they're better quality than like your Harbor Freight and stuff but those three bucks dollar for 25 foot Stanley tape craftsman tool bag I picked up put some small stuff in and that old Coleman cooler I picked it up at a sale uh, I give seven dollars for the cooler somebody's painted some initials on the front of it but it's a uh, but my first glance on the day code, I think it's dated 1979. Uh, it's, you know, it's good sh shape inside, not busted. When I was a kid, we had, uh, my dad had one that was bigger than that one that uh, we always used. So that's just kind of a memory piece there. For $7, it's kind of a vintage piece to, you know, maybe throughout the summer, car shows and stuff, keep cranking out. I've got a one I picked up a year or so back. It's a 63 from 1963, but it's smaller. And then a guy normally, old man that's always there at that little flea market. I normally buy a lot of stuff from him. I was picking up some Craftsman sockets. I need to complete some sets. He always gives me a really good deal. There's a bag of sockets there. Uh, there's probably 25 or 30. Half in, anywhere, quarter inch to half inch drive. And uh, four crafting wrenches, three 11 sixteenths. They're all the, the older style, you know, the V series crafting. 311 sixteenths and then one just the the newer style three quarter but all that and a tap handle and a seven sixteenths tap it's twelve dollars give a whole guy for all that <coughs> the same place the same yard to where the cooler was I picked up you know an old hacksaw It's Revere Products Corp, Phoenix, New York. Metal handle, pretty neat old piece. The dollar fifty. And also this half-inch drive, J J H Williams, USA. It's called Super Ratchet half-inch drive. Just, I mean, listen to the number of teeth in it. That's a pretty old piece. I mean it's it's well worn but that was a dollar fifty two. I I really think that was a buy. That's a a quality old ratchet. And uh and then another guy that same flea market. I you know, I picked up a couple of pieces here and asked him how much and he said, you know, he's one of them guys that says just pick you out some stuff and I'll price it to you all of it together so I picked out what pieces I was interested in here these old pliers they're cray cutter USA they still move free you know if they ever had rubber on the handles it's long gone but pretty neat old pair of pliers 
like Christian's pliers, I guess. And then this, you know, quarter, snap on, uh, quarter inch drive handle, and a snap on 5 16 deep well socket. That was in there. An air chuck. Some, uh, Elkin TM Company, Chicago, Illinois. You know, so the folding hex keys. And then this old torque wrench. It's an old JC Penney's made in the USA. I don't know if it would if it works or I'd kind of be afraid. But I may try it out to torque something with my snap on and then you know torque it with this and then where my snap on I can try to you know see how much torque it takes to break it loose so but I get ten dollars for all this I don't know how old this is but you know it's JC Penny made in the USA It's got a can it says made in the USA but then it's got a, a patent in in Canada too so kind of a neat old piece that was ten dollars for all that I'm sure the snap-on driver is worth the money but that's just some examples of you know a day out at the little flea market and I'm when I'm saying a little I mean it's they may have 50 vendors it's actually at the a drive-in theater they you know they still open it up in the in the summer uh, you know the my first and second video I ever done the that's those tools for that day were from that place and then that car show that I done the second video was from that drive-in so <clears throat> you know it's a local place they they just have about you know 50 I would estimate 50 vendors maybe a few more but it's there's a few people that are almost always there like the guy I got the sockets and the wrenches from I almost buy something from him every time most of the time, just because he always gives me a good deal on stuff, if he's got something I need. So, you know, like I said, this is me and my wife's hobby to do together. The, you know, she loves the yard sales. You know, every now and then I find something I like. You know, you don't always do good every time you go. I mean, I've been a bunch of times, you know, flea market, yard sale, you know, spend all day and not buy nothing. But then you have other days where, you know, you find some good stuff pretty much everywhere you go. Like I said, appreciate y'all watching. Uh, if you like, please do uh, subscribe if you're not. Y'all have a blessed day. Have a happy Easter. Thank you.